Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to the Adventure Incorporated Podcast. I am your Dungeon Master, Anthony Reed. This is episode 150 and the final episode of the Homecoming story arc. This is a big episode and there's a ton of stuff to get to, so I'm not going to keep you too long, and that's probably a lie, because this is a big episode. But first of all, I have a big announcement to make uh, next Tuesday, so not tomorrow, but uh, next Tuesday, February 26th, we're going to be doing our live tavern night on twitch.tv slash adventure incorporated. So come and join us 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we usually play for a couple of hours. It's a great opportunity to come and chat and have a good time and see all of us uh, be silly and fun. We, we're going to have a blast. It's it's always so much fun to, to be there. Um, that's brought to you by Crystal and patrons like them. So if you're not a patron, head over to patreon.com slash adventureinc. And if you can't be at the tavern night, well, you'll get the video in the feed as well. Because all the patrons get the video for that as well. Make sure you're following us on Facebook and Twitter uh, because Adventure March is coming and the calendar will be released soon with all of the things that we're doing. We're very excited. I've got some great stuff planned and I can't wait for Adventure March to come around as our way to say thank you to all of you. We're getting really close to the end of year three as evidenced by the fact that we are already at episode 150 and so there's some cool stuff coming down the line and I am very, very excited about it. This is, as I said before, a big episode for a lot of reasons. There's some cool plot stuff that happens in this. Uh, but, you know, it's not every day that we... Uh, you know, a lot of podcasts don't get to this point. Uh, 150 episodes is a huge number of episodes, and we're so, so happy that all of you have come along on the ride uh, with us and stuck with us for this long. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a huge deal, and, and we really, really appreciate it from every one of you. So thank you all so much. We love you all. Alright, it's a long episode and I don't want to hold you any longer, so let's get started. Nobles and farmers, knights and wenches, gather round, gather round to hear a tale of excitement and mystery. Brave adventurers facing grave dangers, Keth. The fighter monk. Guys, there, there, there are a lot of, there's a lot of puppy in this cloak. I, I, I just, I need, needed to say it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Genevera, the sorcerer. Genevera, you're sitting there next to Clyde, who just goes, "What the fuck?" I like hold up my hand for a high five. <laughs> Gibetto, the rogue. As soon as they see the five of you, their expression. Hardens. Uh, well, we'll see you later. And Jibeto just turns. <laughs> <to later. laughs> Gillick, the paladin warlock. But but you're dying again, right? Like you die, then you get a spirit, and you're nothing, and then you become nothing, and then you're nothing. That sounds like bullshit. Let's go kill the Death Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and Asher, the druid barbarian. Yeah, but I'm asking specifically who, why Jeff is important to Asher. He just, he's just the first name. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to justify this. <laughs> Let us recall what happened when we last left our heroes. I will still be here for Adventure Incorporated, but you guys must go and deal with Elatrix. And that's all it says. The last time we spoke did not go how I would have liked it to have gone, but... Ultimately, I... Ultimately, I think you were right. He slowly turns around. He says, It's time to call the Fae. Prepare yourselves, for this is the tale of Adventure Incorporated. Yeah, dude. Uh, that's... Wow. Um, geez, I'm... I'm glad you're on board now. Yeah, we thought this was, um, gonna be a, uh... Kind of a hard conversation, so yeah, oh, we were yeah, thank we were ready goodness. for like a really big like scolding by you, and or at least I was, or like a, I yeah. an argument. Seriously, the fuck, Alex? We've been like, we you could have made that decision months ago when <laughs> we needed it. No, and we've been just like dicking around ever since. We we needed you. You've 
No, I could not make that decision months ago. Um, I am not like you. I am not one of you. I am limited by my nature as one of the Fae. It, it restricts my ability to make decisions on my own, to, to do as you do, which is to simply exist, to, uh, to make the right call. I am bound by my nature. My nature was to run. My nature was to hide. And although this is my purpose, it is one that has been buried within me. And I am to admit that it is time to do this thing means essentially that I am fulfilling my only purpose in life. And I need you to understand that that is terrifying because I do not know what comes after this for me. Amen, brother. Why now? Like, what, what, what changed in the last few months? Yeah. I have been thinking about what you all said when you came to me. About the things that are happening in this world. And it seems that this Gorm has figured out every plan that I might have had to try and stop him somehow. You told me that he was searching for the items, the, the celestial items. So that avenue is blocked to us. You tell me of this other, that the, the dragons have taken over in this other place. We cannot do that then. Everything I would try, he has already thought of. And I, it is infuriating, but I can think of no other way to stop what is coming than to do this. We have learned something else uh, in the interim also while you were gone. Um, we <clears throat> we saw Gorm's path here. We understand how he knows these things now. Um, he's tried this a lot in a lot of different uh, realities, I guess, timelines. Um I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Um, like, there were other worlds that we all live in uh, that Gorm came to that he wasn't a part of. Um, and, and in all of them, you showed up right at the end with an army to stop him. In any of those, was the army I arrived with the Fey? No. Not that I recall. It was the no, uni no. It was all of the kingdoms, and as far as I remember, and he went out of his way many a times to kind of disunite the kingdoms, which, in our reality, has happened. Well, then, at yeah. at our worst, uh, we will chase him off to another reality with an army of the Fey. But why not stop him in this one? That will, That is our goal. So at our best, the Fae help us defeat Gorm once and for all. But at the very least, we can move him along. So the one thing that I've learned uh, in my time at Adventure Incorporated is that nothing good ever <laughs> happens without uh, something really bad happening yep. also. Um, what exactly happens when the Fae come here? <clears throat> my father... That's a really good question. My father told me that they were leaving this place to seal the darkness away from here. To keep the shadow out of the material plane. And he said that at some point that would fail. And shadow would return. And when it did... I was to open the door to let the Fae back in so they could bring light. Gibetto just looks at Gillick and doesn't say anything, just looks at him. Gillick looks back and then 
Gil- yeah, Gilligan. Gilligan has nothing to say. Just kind of like. Just <laughs> <laughs> so gonna stay quiet. So, <clears throat> is there? I guess when you open the Fey <laughs> gates or whatever, is there anything else that opens? Like any, you know, other realm that has to open with it or whatever. Yeah. Like what's the, what's the other side to this coin? Like what's the, what's the other swing of this axe? Like how, you know, everything goes both ways here. I will admit that I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I know that my father left for a cool, reason. Cool, 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 cool. He left because his uh, he left because he felt he needed to to seal the darkness away. I I don't know what that means for if we open this gate. I don't know, except that that is what I am supposed to do when the darkness has come back. Are we are we there? I I think. Um... Maybe what Chibetto is trying to ask, and, and please correct me if I'm wrong. Do you have any kind of idea of any unforeseen consequences of doing this? What are like? What are the? What might happen? You know, on top of just this, you know, letting the payback in. Yeah, dude. Like you are the uh, the only person who knows anything about mm-hmm. fey magic. Yeah, uh, I and- understand that, but my knowledge is not perfect. I don't know the answer to this. I was created, and he walked away. Through this gate. Uh, Anthony, remind me, do we know... Is this the first time we've ever heard about him having a father? Because, like, um, I don't really recall him ever talking about this, but I could just, it, you know... You saw, his, <laughs> you saw his creation in your trials to be uh, when you were joining the Forbidden Dawn. Yeah. But we so you saw his father then, okay, um, and he has mentioned it. Uh, maybe, n- maybe not since then. But uh, uh, I think he did. But regardless, he, you very least know that the Coatl was you. You saw created. the Faelord that created the Coatl. Uh, Elytrix, um I don't know if I've ever asked this question to you, but who, who is your father? My father was Lanyer. Can... Wait, like the, the guy that created everything? <clears throat> yes. In a way... Holy... In a way, I am related to all of you. Uh, you are... like siblings. Far distant cool. siblings, but... I guess I'm like an uncle. Or something. Uh, okay. Uncle yeah, Elatrix. <laughs> oh, crazy uh, Uncle Elatrix. <laughs> he comes to Thanksgiving and he's like, I'm going to open the lo- the gates to the Fae. And we're like, Elatrix. <laughs> and another thing. No. <clears throat> Go, hey. go back and watch the game, Elatrix. <laughs> 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 the Pats are doing real good right now. So, I guess the the thing I'm most concerned about, right, is when, because this is just the way this whole thing works, right? Like, every time we do something, there's a equal and opposite reaction that sucks and is bad yeah. for yeah. us. I've... So when we open this gate to the Fey Realm... What, what's the likelihood that I don't know, the Shadow Lord is gonna reach out and grab Gillick and take control of him and kill us all with Gillick? Oh man, I don't want to do that. O- or I don't. Again, I don't know the answer to that. What I can tell you is this: just put odds on it, yeah. dude. Uh, I like. What's the over under? <laughs> Seven. Um... <laughs> I understand. <laughs> 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 I do, Gibetto, I don't know. I don't know. I can't know. 
I was really uh, hoping to trick the DM <laughs> there by oh. having him give odds uh, <laughs> from an infallible <laughs> creature. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. And truly, I don't even feel comfortable with this. I am here because you suggested it, Gibetto. You specifically told me that we needed to do this. Don't. Don't rub my indecision in my face. That's <laughs> rude. Uh, I don't I, know what will happen. I. The only thing I can do is hope. I have to hope that this will be okay, and I have to rely on other people to. to carry us through this because. I don't know what's going to happen from the moment I sit down to start this ritual till the moment it ends and beyond. I have no idea. Will there will there be others like me? I don't know. I don't know where the Sylvan went. I don't know for <laughs> sure if they are there. I don't know. I don't know. So we just know Wait. that this is a, in case of emergency, break gate to Fey realm. Yes, and if we're not yeah. there, if okay. things are not dire enough for this, then we don't have to do it. But it's if dire. you are ready, if this is what you want, then I can... I'm, I'm willing to do it now. I understand that... I, I don't know what other options we have. We wanted to do it then, guys. Let's... Yes. Yeah. Let's... I, I think it's right to do. I just... I think we're all... Raise your hand if you think we should do it right now. Asher raises his, hands. Throws his, hands raises up. his hand. Keth? Yeah, Keth raises his hand and says, we saw a lot of other options to try and stop Gorm, and every single time he just he just jumped into another portal, jumped to a different reality. Like, I want to try something different. Yeah, and, and we're, we're prepared to do this. We want to do this. We just want to be prepared for any consequences of it. Yeah, yeah, for the first time in our lives, we're trying to actually ask a question before we just do pull a thing. two levers and un unleash a whole thing of water that you know I that didn't hear anything about. Okay, oh, come on. I was dead. Well, then <clears throat> let's. What do we think is going to be the problem, and what can we do to head that off before I begin? My my fear is when we were in the other reality where we you know we. Changed the pact with the dragons. The dragons took over. So my fear is that we have the Fey. The Fey defeat Gorm, and then the Fey are now these like uh, uncaring lords of chaos, uh, overseeing everything. That's my fear. Which it sounds pretty paranoid, but you know, my, honestly, at this point, the only solace I can offer you on that front is that the it was the Fey who pulled the greater races to where they are pulled them up from their bestial nature to have cultures and societies uh, without the phase guidance we you would not be you as you are now they have yeah. always treated uh, the greater races with benevolence and with love. But doesn't... Uh, I think the thing that frightens me about it, and not enough to not call them here, uh, because I think that's very important. I want to make it clear that my hand was raised. Um, <laughs> the, the thing that worries me is they, they made us, they created us. Um, how much power do they have over like us and our actions, if any? The gift that was given was free will the fact that they gave you free will uh they do not have power over that free will they gave you all right that was really my biggest fear or like if they're gonna like make another like super super something the, to there are certain start imagine fresh. if they made gnomes but tall mecha gnomes <laughs> We'd be unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> there are um, there are certainly deep magics that can do that, that can take control. Make gnomes tall, not, not tall gnomes. Deep no. magic mecha gnomes. No, <laughs> no, that's, that's ridiculous. That's guys. the most. Jeez. I'm not even entertaining that as a thought. Um, 
<laughs> there are certainly deep magics that can take control of your will, but it is not the magic of the Fae. Sure. Okay. That's interesting. I just, yeah. Jibeto looks at Gillick again. Hey. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. I know. That's. I, it's. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> He doesn't say anything. That's great. Nod Gil takes a sip from his flask right? nervously. <laughs> breaks into a cold sweat. <laughs> I think we've brought up all of our concerns, which hopefully doesn't mean they're going to become inevitabilities. But, uh, yeah. Again, if there are precautions you would like to take before we begin, I'm willing to facilitate that. But, uh... Let's just do it. Yeah. yeah. Gibetto pulls out my swish and is like, just in case. I think Wait. that would be wise. Um, oh I will boy. be. <laughs> also prepares her. I will spells. be. I will be drawing a lot of fey magic to open this gate. Whenever one mm-hmm. uses the deep magics, it tends to call out. To others who use deep magic. Yeah, it's the connection thing. That makes sense. I don't know what will come from this. If... Uh, when he says that, Jibeto reaches out his hand toward Gillick to hold on to him. Uh, Gillick, Gillick extends his hand and holds on to Gibetto's. <laughs> and then Gillick also extends his other hand and is just waiting for a cath. <laughs> <laughs> Kath's, Kath's on the other side, but like he walks over. Because <laughs> he, he knew. <laughs> yeah. Steps steps between Gillick and Genevera. <laughs> Genevera crosses her arms. Asher does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is like. <laughs> Like, like the perfect <laughs> image of all of us. Like, <laughs> I don't want yes. to be included. <laughs> Asher and Genevera pouting, and the three of us holding hands. <laughs> In our own pouty ways, yeah. though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because I com- want to be involved. I want to be included. <laughs> Asher just doesn't get how to interact with people most of the time. Yeah, for him, this is like, oh, okay, they're doing that thing. They do <laughs> I'm just going to do my own thing. I'll remember this when I'm picking my bride. <laughs> <laughs> if Kath knew that, then he would be so nervous. <laughs> Asher fully plans to be like a cute dog or cat carrying the ring. <laughs> oh, my god! Oh, that's a great idea. That is a good yeah. idea. Asher's into it. He's thought about Genevera it. Genevera pins it. Elatrix walks over to the two uh, willows. <laughs> we all had this like real deep conversation in our imaginations, and Elatrix is just like, why have they been quiet for a long time? <laughs> <laughs> He's got, got fucking weird since I left. He's just like, okay, well, um... <laughs> uh, if you guys are uh, <laughs> done here, uh, <laughs> uh, he, he walks pain. over and he kneels between the trees. Um, uh, he he says, "Once I begin this, I don't think I can stop." I heard that. It is. <laughs> heard <laughs> yo, got you. I feel you. <laughs> This <laughs> this is my purpose. It was why I was created. And if I begin this ritual, the only way to stop it will be to kill me. Oh. Will you need to be protected during this ritual? Like, will things you think come and attack you? Undoubtedly. Very good. Okay. Good look, looks at your better. <laughs> the, the, not. the heat between you two is just <laughs> wild. Guess just along for the ride. <laughs> uh, 
He says, are we ready? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, no, I do have a (sighs) Hold on. Let me get my... Go on. (laughs) Yeah. Kath has... Kath says, let me get my dice. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Mikey's got to get his dice and his character. Uh... It's like... It's a gamble. (laughs) He sighs again. Um, closes his eyes and you watch as sort of his posture changes as he sort of drops down uh, into this sort of uh, deep stance <laughs> to do deep magic in the deep stance yeah. uh, just poops <laughs> 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 you, you cannot fathom the power of the deep magic <laughs> great um <laughs> <laughs> you really like that one, bud. <laughs> oh my god, Mike. <laughs> oh god. All right. And then the podcast just ends. He um just <laughs> a few quiet moments pass. And then there is a crack of like what sounds like thunder. Uh, and a body spills out into the grass and it sort of like raises its head up. Genuvera. Whoa. I, oh, fuck. C- I come with a warning for you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, they no. are coming. Who is Wh- who? my Who's brother coming? and his army are coming. They wish to stop uh, what is, is happening here. Oh no, oh no. Who tell me everything about your brother and how I to defeat him? I have to go very quickly. I don't have time. No, 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 no. Tell us, tell us. We can play a game. Magic Man, you're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't laugh. I <laughs> <laughs> If he sees me here, I'll have to face my mistress's wrath. No, you won't. Tell tell me how to you defeat have him. To f- Just real quick, one fight. word. Whisper. Fight. Spite? And then he, disip- he disappears. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh. Wait. Why wouldn't the angels want this to happen? Because they are the only ones that have, uh, that are linked to the material realm, right? The Fae and the Shadow aren't. They're blocked off. The Celestials are. So the Celestials basically have a monopoly on this realm. I'm guessing. That's my best guess. Some kind of secret. Slowly, uh, some you see like these uh, faint lights begin to form in the sky uh, above you guys. Uh, they grow progressively brighter. Uh, and then beams of these lights sort of shoot to the ground. Uh, and as these beams, like, it starts out like one, two, three. Then there's like 20 of these beams sort of across the ground. Uh, and... From them rise these, like, spectral warriors. Uh, They look sort of um, humanoid, but they've lost their features. And they are just sort of these ghostly uh, apparitions uh, that are sort of standing, uh, like, tall with uh, sort of ghostly uh, weapons. Uh, Behind... Do they look fae-like? No. They look angel-like. Yeah, behind them you see sort of a uh, a great unfurling of a giant scroll uh, that sort of just appears in the sky and unfurls from uh, that location. And as it unfurls, uh, you see like sort of, it sort of spreads and twists, wraps around so that it almost like engulfs uh, this sort of a pocket of space here. Um, and then it unfurls again and a giant blue skinned angel uh, with wings made of, uh, of flowing parchment, uh, sort of hovers above uh, this, this spectral warriors. Um, cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, that was cool. It is cool. It's cool. It's, it's, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Like, that's fine. No, it's cool. Yeah, no, Gillick. So yeah, that's, that's exactly how Gillick feels about it. It's, it's just objectively cool. I am Teladoc. 
tell a doc what? (laughs) (laughs) Angel of (laughs) Salius. You must end this ritual. Why? You mess with forces you do not understand. Obviously, that's why I asked why. You are bringing back the Fey, the Shadow. We fought wars for this. We kept them at bay for centuries. Why? The Shadow is a corruptive force. It destroys. Yeah, we know. That's what we're trying to stop. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Uh, Jennifer, like, bows her head a little bit. Um, I, but honestly, like, we've been, this is, we're, um, we are, uh, we're trying to stop the shadow. So, uh, that's why we're doing this. Um, we're all, we all want the same the thing. They are a plug in the dam. If you release them, you release the shadow too. Well, shadow is kind of everywhere right now. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed. But, like, just look at him, and she kind of, like, <laughs> head nods together. Hey. <laughs> the, the shadow is already loose. We are not letting the shadow free. The shadow is already free. This is a trickle. This has, these are drops of shadow. Okay. So you're saying if we go then through with the ritual, you s- you're gonna, we're going to release the, the tidal wave of shadow? That the Fey locked themselves away to keep the shadow from coming here. To keep the shadow from finding a way to this realm. Yeah, we know that. Everybody fucking says that, but we don't know what it fucking means. What if we bring them back to kind of sweep up the, 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 the trickle? You are pulling the stopper from what we from their realm beyond. They left for a reason. So help us fight the shadow. Don't fight us. Yeah, yeah. We always fight the shadow. But if you stand between us... Oh, good! We are literally on the same side. Then stop the ritual. No, we're continuing the ritual. It can't be stopped now. Then we are not... Genevera puts her hands on her hips. If we do not (laughs) do this, then the world will end anyways. Because what we're trying to do is to stop Gorm Tintreach from literally resetting the world. Jedevera nervously looks around like, stop giving out our secrets. He's sort of like, uh, <laughs> when you say that, he sort of scans through. He is like, hmm. I am known as the secret keeper. There, there are things that I know that I cannot tell you. If you do not know. What you have said to me means that you know more than I thought you did. Oh. Jennifer gives a thumbs up to Asher then. (laughs) Asher thumbs up back. (laughs) What you are doing here may stop Gorm. But what we are fighting here is beyond him. The Shadow War predates Gorm Tintrich. It is... He is insignificant in its wake. Asher sighs audibly. This is starting to sound like every fucking Celestial where they're just like, ugh, time is just a thing. <laughs> just, time just yeah, tired. is just a thing. He's just tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it must feel pretty fucked up, right, uh, to know that your... It continued existence isn't guaranteed. Welcome to like, welcome to be no, us. No, no. Your continued existence is guaranteed to end. Oh, you will. You are sure. finite, extremely yes. finite. Rude. Rude. Gorm. T- <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer kind of half shrugs. She gets it. Gorm Tintrich, and the damage he does is finite. The forces you are meddling with here are not. Well, 
then Riddle be this secret keeper. If we don't stop Gorm Tintreat from resetting our world, our finite existence is gonna still be finite. What we're doing doesn't affect you, and that's why we're doing it. Because we don't have any other options, because you haven't done your job. And Asher, like, pouts. <laughs> Pouts? Do you pout at the end of that? <laughs> he doesn't know how to end a really cool sentence. <laughs> <laughs> he says, If I allow you to do this, my existence is in peril. Hey, maybe then we'll get some fucking help around here. Let's go. Because our existence has and been Gebetto, in peril. Gebetto chases after so him. So the, the angel is sort of behind the, the line of spectral creatures. He does not move. He continues to hover there, and as you charge forward, the spectral creatures draw their weapons uh, and, and begin to move forward. Uh, but the, the angel, the secret keeper, does not move. How many spectral creatures uh, are there again? Twenty. Oh, boy. Keth uh, runs, follows Gebetta. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ash- yeah, he runs <laughs> towards Gebetta. Yeah. <laughs> Keth, Keth runs away. the Fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. Hey, uh, everybody, <laughs> roll initiative. Yeah. Roll initiat. Roll initiato. Yeah. Roll oh. initiat. Oh. So I guess I. Oh. <laughs> I really begrudgingly run because uh, I just rolled a natural one. Woof. Woof. I rolled a 10 total. Gillick also rolled a 10. Keth ran real far by you. 19. Nineteen. <laughs> I've got a five. Okay, so I still go before Jennifer because I rolled a six. <laughs> like, with my mod. <laughs> <laughs> my absolute slowest. Oh, that's a dead pen. Dead pen's always been dead. That's why he's called Dead Pen. Right. You should get some new pens, like me. <laughs> They're not sponsoring us. Don't say anything. I got all new pens today. Are That's they different colors? I've been, yep, I've been able to draw this uh, new in-canon picture of what Elytrix looks like. Yeah, Anthony, you can use that for the, uh, <laughs> I don't for the have next a $10. Pen. <laughs> Yeah, listen, it's maybe even better than Anthony's paint art, so... Fuck you, I do that in Illustrator. It should be, like... Low low bar. I was was gonna say, fucking guaranteed it's better. No, I do that in Illustrator. That's not MS Paint, baby. That's professional tools. (laughs) Yikes, that's bad. It smooths the lines for me. Yeah! (laughs) It'd be way worse in paint. <laughs> okay. Uh, the secret keeper is the first to act, and he's sim. Fuck you! I rolled nineteen. Yep. Shit. <laughs> uh, and he simply hovers there. Um, but Keth, you are next. All right. I think Keth's been going through a lot lately. And he's just like, Elytrix is here, and he's starting this thing that we've been kind of hoping he'd do forever. And then he's just kind of putting all his faith in it. And is real pissed that these guys are here trying to stop it. So he just wants them to go away. So he reaches for the orc artifact uh, as he's running and tries to tap into it and uh, gain some strength from it. <clears throat> Okay, give me a minute. Hold on. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, Anthony, what's this fucking look like? It looks like he's just touching himself as he's running. <laughs> okay. That's not what I meant. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that where you keep the stone? <laughs> that's, where, that's where I keep my orc artifact. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> uh, you, you begin to tap into the artifact. Okay, you sort of reach within yourself uh, to your essence to try and speak with the bone shaman. Uh, How it makes sense. When you, <laughs> 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 when you do, you get this sudden uh, 
this sudden feeling in your mind, like uh, a command uh, to stop and turn to Genevera. Um, the feeling is like overwhelming. There's something about Genevera that the the uh, the bone shaman demands. Uh, he like you just can't uh, shake this feeling. You can if you move like basically if you want to continue down this path to call on this power, you will have to go and address whatever it is the bone shaman needs uh, before you can approach the the spirits. Or you can abandon this uh, and just like try to fight against that that thought while you go and fight the spirits. Kath turns on a dime and runs towards Genevera. Um, so uh, I'll give you guys like a, a few seconds to to hash this out. He what Kath what? Uh, I try to tap into the, the orc spirit, and I just had this overwhelming compulsion to just come see you. Another. And... She carries another. It's it's probably because um gosh we haven't even had time to talk. Uh, but give it to me. Uh, uh, okay, can you? Okay. Yes. Um, give wow. me the stone. No. I will drink we of need its it. power. I. I don't know if you should do like. Do you know if you'll survive using two of these things? Because I really like. I think Tell her to it. shut up and give um, it to you. you. It will help. It will help defeat this. We need to get Elatrix through this ritual. Please, I, there's no time. I'm God. Oh God, I'm so worried. Um, Genevera looks at Gebetto. He's way ahead Gebetto's, of you. <laughs> yeah, oh. Gebetto's like. Oh. Jennifer looks focused. at whoever's next to her. Keth is next to her. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever Take it else. From her. Take, Take the stone. stone. He, re- he like sticks out his hand and just says, I- "Now, please." Um. Oh God. Okay, Keth, look at me in the eyes and tell me you're not going to go crazy. Like just Gillick. looks at her. I assume his eyes are pretty manic right now. Like, <laughs> not. Uh, Gillick looks at Keth and says, "Calm, Keth." Back it off. <laughs> he, he doesn't even hear Gillick and just looks her in the eyes and says, Now. Oh, God. Okay. Don't do it. Oh, gosh. Uh, don't do it? Uh, I don't. Uh, no. No, I. I re- <clears throat> if Gillick's telling me not to give this to you, I feel like that's a really yeah. bad sign. We have too many people p- possessed by things, yeah, I, Asher says. <clears throat> Jennifer, I, I, the strength I, that I can tap into, and we need this can. now. We can't can. let them stop us. Can't this isn't for through, me. Buddy. This is for us. Anthony, can I do something? Or is I know it's not my turn. And also, bear in mind, only Kef can hear the whispers. I don't know if I was clear on that, but only Kef can hear the whispers. He still seems fucking yeah, yeah, manic. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, what are you trying to do, Asher? I would like to cast a spell on Kef. Dispel? <laughs> a spell. What spell? I would like to cast Polymorph on Kef. Okay. To make him not be crazy, or at least to be different and feel powerful and move on with his life. Um, uh, to cast a spell is going to have to be your turn. I'm not going to let that happen okay. during this well, uh, then. already too long segment of time. Uh, Never for mind. The, for a turn. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. No, no, it's not your fault. It's, yeah, I mean. But I, I, we may pass on to the next turn. turn. Uh, okay, fine. so the spirits hold their position. Um, they uh, they are held, hold their line solidly. Uh, Asher, it's your turn. Okay, well, instead of that, because uh, Asher feels like he should do something about the spirits, too, and is fairly conflicted, I'm going to cast uh, Summon Minor Elementals. Okay. Uh, mixing it up, baby. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to make how many things of what? I'm going to make four uh, Dust Mephits. Okay. And I'm gonna summon them like in the front flank of. I'll run. I'll roll their uh, their initiative. Uh, cool. They rolled a three <laughs> plus uh two five. So their initiative is five. Okay. Um, and there's four of them in a line in front of these guys as well. 
Um, the you hear the uh, the secret keeper sort of boom out uh, as he says, "You bring to bear the magic." God damn it! I drop my <laughs> I drop my book. He fall he falls over. <laughs> He's so shocked he falls over. <laughs> you bring to be- oh shit! <laughs> you bring to bear the magic of the inner planes against us. You are a fool. Um and yeah, so your spirits of okay. your your uh, your methods arrive. <laughs> Yay, my methods here they are. Um, <laughs> <coughs> um, cool. They arrive and then, um, bonus action. I will. Uh, can I use uh the Virilian cards as a bonus action, or is that as no, a that's full action? action. Okay, well then, as a bonus action, I'm going to turn into a beast of some sort. A beast. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to turn into a uh, Allosaurus. Hashersaurus is, uh, is on the case. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, Gillick. You feel your grip tighten on Verdum as you uh, turn. You raise it up above your head, and you realize that it's uh, you're not you're not doing that. Oh. Uh, and then you swing it hard into the back of Keth uh, as he stands staring at Genevera. Uh, you sort of like in shock. You blink your eyes and you hear the voice of the Shadow Lord from just a few hours prior. Uh, you hear him once again as he was pounding on you with that magic just pressing into you you hear his voice you are mm -hmm. mine now as it escaped the lips of your father you do as i command you will always do as i command i own you and uh you so you make an attack against kath go ahead and roll the oh. attack okay uh, kind of brought this on yourself, bud. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, if you were up, if you were up front with me, Kath, you wouldn't be fifteen to hit. hammered right now. Uh, uh, fifteen uh, does not hit. Roll again. Okay. Uh, another fifteen. Okay, so Keth, yeah, as you're standing, you just watch as Gillick swings in. You just manage to like dodge out of the way, uh, and you see like sort of him like wild-eyed as he swings at you again, uh, full like with full force. Uh, Gillick, <clears throat> you blink again and you are gone. Oh, uh, you are no longer oh, like everyone else sees you, but you are don't see anybody. My consciousness is somewhere else. Yeah, you uh, okay. you are standing um, in sort of just a field of black, oh. and a your I father been here before. your father is there. Oh man, hi, Dad. He says, "You are ours now." Really? Are you sure? That doesn't feel like I am. You do as we say. I, you got my body doing some weird stuff, but. I don't, I don't know if I, don't, I feel like doing what you say. I don't know. Does he still look gross, or does he look? Um, does he look? Oh like no, he looks and... gross. He looks gross. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't look like that. As like, I don't have any of that. Grossness. Not that. Uh, not on your. No, not on your body. Okay. <laughs> uh, Just your soul, yeah. Gillick. Just your That's fucking right. soul. <laughs> Black soul. Anyway. Um, so. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel like I'm. I feel like I'm trapped here, but I don't feel like I'm yours. What do you mean by I'm yours? You have lost yourself to the Shadow Lord. He owns you now. Your actions, your being. You are as I am. You are as our brethren are. Tools, oh. pawns. Okay, where? Why are you the only one here? Where's Where's our brethren? And where's the Shadow Lord? He sort of like closes, he sort of smirks. He says, am I here, Gillick? He closes his eyes and he sort of shifts form into Viltroth. He says, oh. am I here, Gillick? We are a part of you now. All of us. Okay. 
And we I mean, are in control. Huh. Uh, okay, uh, Gibetto, it's your turn. So you have you have seen uh, uh, everything occur. You've seen Keth charge forward, immediately turn around, run back, shout at Genevera for some stone. Gillick take a couple of swings at him in the back, uh, and some dust muffet, methods show up. D- dust muffets. Dust muffets. <laughs> some fucking dust muffets. Oh my god. Dust it. God, this was the worst decision <laughs> we've ever made. <laughs> Gibetto stops running. <clears throat> and he drops his sword. And he looks up at the angel. And he says, at this point, you're going to need those angels. And so are we. Because we got a lot worse shit we're going to have to deal with. And now we're all in this together, man. Roll a persuasion check. Uh, Gibetto rubs his luck charm. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) A 14? Okay. Genevera, it's your turn. (laughs) Um, so Genevera just saw... Could she hear Gibetto? Um, yeah. Oh. Okay. (laughs) She just fires off Um, a fucking spell at the angel. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, she was going to Just fucking uh, carpet Fireball Gibetto stops right. Fireball <laughs> Everyone Fireball Oh, Gibetto remembered that I have area of effect spells Good job, pal uh, uh, <laughs> Blump. No, I was going to just give Kat the stone <clears throat> uh, So that he could fuck shit up Kat takes it um, <laughs> so, Genevieve is going to move past um, Keth. She's going to run right past him. Um, and she is going to cast telekinesis on herself and fly up to look at the angel straight in the face. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is her favorite thing to do now. <laughs> Genevera pulls out her gigantic brass dragon balls <laughs> and just is like, what? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so you cast telekinesis upon yourself and lift yourself into the air uh, so that you are sort of uh, staring across this short uh, field to the, but on the same level as the angel. Exactly. Okay. And she would like to talk to him. Um but I don't know if he I'm has been. He, you, you may speak to him. He has been receptive to okay. listening. He's not. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just meant because I took my turn to um, listen. The ritual has started, and it's not. It can't be stopped. Um, there's some uh, stuff going down down there that is not super great right now. Um, we as a as a team are um, not not doing the best um now listen i have a best friend who's an angel and um i know (laughs) Uh oh and i know that like that 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 you guys understand how important this whole thing is to the world like i know that that there's so much goodness inside you and you just want to help uh so like gibetto said help us Let's not fight each other because that's d- dumb and you're going to win. Um, so let's just turn around and fight the shadow together. Roll a persuasion check. She smiles. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a disadvantage. <laughs> uh, I got an 18. Oh, nice. Plus, Plus your mega charisma. Let's go. Plus 7. Whoa. 25. Damn. 
It's almost like Gebetto's not the person to be making these fucking. (laughs) 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 He says, What you risk is a planar war reignited. We've risked it. We did it. So help us fight. Help us fight Gorm. Help us fight the Shadow. We can do this. We can defeat the Shadow. We we can do it. We have to do it. There are... We have to. Our hands are bound on what we can do to fight the Shadow because of the Pact. Listen, I know all about the Pact. And um, if there was a way to break it without getting the dragons to just rule over us, then we could talk. But that's something we can talk about. That's something that we can figure out they together. Would do so because of the shadow. The dragons? They carry the same seed their master carries. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we're trying to keep their master from waking up and saying hey to everyone with, like, fire and stuff. And we have done that for a long, long time. Yeah, but 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 it's happening. Like it's actively happening right now. Herrix is waking up, and we we are trying to stop it. We are doing whatever we can. Roll a persuasion check. And this is our last resort. Uh, Twenty-one. Uh, okay, Kef, it's your turn. Did you like that fast math? It's good. By the it's way, it's good. Yeah, it was it was a fourteen, and I just knew plus seven was a twenty. That's so pretty low. good. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I just needed to be congratulated <laughs> for that. We finally defeated our true enemy. Math. 14 plus 7 is 22. Sorry, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> ah, did I get you for like a second, though? <laughs> for a hot second. I was, like, I was like, no, it's not. Wait, is it? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay, Keth, it's your turn. Uh, make make a wisdom saving throw first of all. Make for me. I can't believe how poorly this is going. <laughs> I mean, I kind of can because we're playing. We asked all the questions up front, <laughs> and Anthony went, "I don't know," and we're like, "Well, that seems yeah, fine. that's real dickish on Anthony's part Wicked. because Elatrix literally just did shrug guy emoji and." I- even though he Eltrix didn't... didn't know. If he knew, he had to tell you. Well, uh, he had to at least know some of the... Oh, that's fair. Yeah, Just like a cop. Well, yeah, yeah he's a cop. <laughs> he's a cop. <laughs> Eltrix <laughs> is a cop. <laughs> Kath made a wisdom saving throw and he got a 14. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so you still hear that sort of that voice pounding in your mind, but you could still turn away from it if you wanted to, but it is still, if, if you want to lean into this power, it is demanding the stone that Genevera carries. Yeah. Uh, Kat takes out the, his orc artifact and kind of in both hands combines the two of them and turns towards the fight and tries to. Well, Genevera didn't actually give it to you. Oh, she still has it. She said she gave it to me. And I said, no, she said she was going to, uh, no, but chose not to. Uh, is she still in front of me? She's in the air. She's flying. Right, he hops on his broom and goes after her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you buy that? Yeah, I fucking bought it. <laughs> not wrong. Not wrong. I forgot <laughs> all about the broom. Yeah, God. fucking so did I. I thought I'd be safe from this guy. And every... Everyone on the internet is like, wait, how did you forget about it? It just fucking uh, So okay. he, he, like, he doesn't even care about Gillick, like, attacking him. He just, he's just so dead set on this stone that he's pissed she flew away. Okay, so you fly up into the air. <laughs> <laughs> and now you are, you're, like, right behind Genevera. Genevera. Please, Gillick is going crazy. We need more strength here. There is no other way. Listen, if um, our our new friend, Teladoc, uh, decides that we are all going to work together to fight the Shadow or whatever other monsters come today, then I will give you this stone and you can use it only on the Shadow. Do you understand me? 
Take but the not stone. Until, Take it from her. Not until Del not until Teladoc agrees. And not until we're fighting the shadow. Genevera, so what 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 Kef, look at me. Kef? Genevera. Do you understand? He like he got he tries to like does he uh does Kef know where it is on Genevera? You do not know where the stone is on Genevera. Okay. He Kef just like roars out in anger and just says, Genevera, you will be the death of us all. And he just uh, jumps off of the uh, broom and just, he's like going to go and attack these uh, Celestials. All right, make an acrobatics check. <laughs> It'll be face plants so much. <laughs> uh, acrobatics is what? Plus dex. Dex, 19. Okay, Aww. yeah, you land on the ground, you sort of do, like, the three-point land, you know? Uh, like an Iron your Man knee land. Is, your knee is fucking Superhero explodes. <laughs> <laughs> <It's only> like, <laughs> that's what should happen. He's only, like, 30 feet in the air. Yeah, that's um, easy. Still. Easy money. So, uh, then you use uh, your, the rest of your movement to bolt over to the line uh, with your boots of speed. Um, you make it, uh, and you are right within melee range to start attacking some of these spirits. All right, uh... He snaps his quarterstaff in half and takes a swing at uh, the first creature he encounters. Okay. 25 to hit. Hits. All right, he'll use a gauntlet. 10 damage. And for his second attack with... Yep. 18 to hit. Hits. Nine damage. And he'll uh, spend a point of key. Okay. Let's do a flurry of blows. And he's going to try and knock him prone. Okay. 25 to hit. 25 hits. Eight damage. And he's, yeah, is he prone? Uh, no, the, you can't. It seems like uh, with the spirits the way they are, you can't knock them prone. Okay. He's just still uh, swinging unarmed. Okay. Uh, 24 to hit. Hits. 10 damage. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you just, like, charge forward. You take out the Redeemers. You swing twice into this. And then you, like, swing with a leg and, and drop an elbow. And, and it, you just, like, this go the spirit in front of you vanishes. Uh, uh, you've just, like, pounded into submission and it vanishes away. Um, the other spirits... So he, he just roars again, just, like, in, with rage. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's the pretty other spirits. Yeah, the other spirits turn towards you. The three closest to you, Kef, converge. One to your right, one to your left, one directly in front of you. Uh, and they begin attacking. Bring it on. The first one critically hits. Uh, it hits you for... Uh, 19 necrotic damage. Damn. Now, I think... That you have a resistance to necrotic, correct? Yeah, I get that ring of golden light. Okay. So. Right, ring of, yeah, resistance to necrotic, non magical, magical bludgeoning, piercing from him. So that's eight. I like it. Okay. Uh, the second one attacks. Misses. Third one attacks. That one hits. For 20 necrotic. Um, he rolled much better. So yeah, 10. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, the spirits just are, are converging in on you, uh, Kath. Asher, it's your turn. Great. Um... <clears throat> I, uh, I run up and I uh, pounce on one of these fuckos. Um, so I make a 
I make a claw attack at him. Um, the claw. Twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. Um. Yeah. And my my damage is considered magical because of druid stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> For what it's worth. Worth a lot. Um. Oh, max damage. So, uh, nope. I rolled the wrong dice, so that doesn't actually matter. Um. It would have been max damage if the damage was a D6. <laughs> um, well, okay, cool. Uh, ten. Uh, ten slashing damage, and then it has to make a DC 13 strength throw. Uh, what's the effect? Uh, or it gets knocked down, knocked prone. No, it does not. Oh, okay, well. I then make a claw, a bite attack at it. Okay. And I bite it with my magical teeth. <clears throat> um, that'll be 13. Uh, 13 hits. Oh, wow. Dope. Yeah. Seventeen damage. Okay. It's looking pretty bad. Cool. Um Gillick takes uh uh fires off two Eldritch blasts at uh Keth's back. First attack. Nope. Or are you gonna roll or yeah, is yeah, that? Give me your modifier. What's your Eldritch Blast modifier? I don't have one. It's just one d ten. Uh, but to attack, uh, I, to hit. Oh, uh, plus six. Okay, yeah. You fire off two eldritch blasts. Both of them slam into the ground uh, around him, um, and then you start trotting your way up to the group. Uh. <laughs> 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 It'll take like several turns. Trap! 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 I cast Expeditious Retreat as a bonus action. Then you can... Then oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but you still don't get all the way. You still don't go as far as Keth does. <laughs> like, hey, stop no, it. man, that's what Gillick would do. <laughs> uh, Gillick, you... Uh, Viltroth shifts again, uh, this time into uh, uh, the image of uh, Dunglaris. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you're here too? We are all here. Uh, okay. But you're not shifting into me. So how do I know you're not just a Shadow Lord doing shifty things? Slowly, uh, Dunglaris, uh, the smile widens as he shifts once again and takes the form of you uh, as you stand across from yourself. But you watch as those dark veins sort of travel across your face uh, in the image across from you. Uh, yeah, okay, I mean, that's spooky and everything, but that's that's not me. You know, you're not me. Whatever you are. I am you, though. <laughs> oh. No, you're not. <laughs> um, but, I, I mean, I am. I am you. You can't, you can't be me. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm me. Yeah, but me, too. <laughs> now I'm really confused. Yeah. So you're me? Yeah, we're, I'm trying to tell you we're all you. And you're oh. all of us. Okay, wait, so does that mean that I can go back into my body? We are in your body. Okay, can I drive then? No. Why? Goodbye. Awesome. Gibetto, it's your turn. <laughs> um So I imagine he's standing in the middle of a field, 
yeah, uh, Keth has charged past you. Come. Then Asher charged right. past you. There's fighting happening in yep. front of you. Genevieve is hovering above you. Gillix firing off shots from behind you. Um, and the ritual continues. Um... Jibeto pulls out the control rod and tries to cast Charm Person as a Gillick. Okay. Uh, so make. Do you have? What's the DC? What's Gillick's wisdom? Uh, Gillick's wisdom is thirteen. Uh, uh, sorry, wisdom modifier. What's his wisdom modifier? Uh, oh, sorry. I uh, was in uh, plus five for saving throws. Is plus five. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> sorry, I was looking because I wasn't sure if I have. A, I might have a, an immunity to some shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking. God damn it! Oh no, I need to look for this. Gillick. <laughs> <laughs> Gillick. Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. Um, you fire off the control rod and. Uh, you feel like you can almost reach through because you've used the control rod a couple of times. I don't think it's ever really worked for you. Uh, sure, a couple no, of times. Wait. I have um, protection from evil and good from my helmet, and it says for creatures it includes Fey. And if Beto is a gnome, yeah, does he not count Fey as enough. He's not Fey enough. Damn it! <laughs> okay, <laughs> get uh, out of here. <clears throat> but Beto, I won't get out of here. <laughs> Gibetto, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've used the control rod a few times. Um, <clears throat> even when it has failed in the past, uh, you felt like you made contact with the person and then were rebuffed, right? This feels like sure. you've hit a brick wall. Yeah, I know what. Re- yeah, I know what rejection feels like. Yeah, this, this is, is different. different. Uh, <laughs> It's like not even being acknowledged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this one's already got a boyfriend. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know this feeling oh, too. It's a, uh, it's a bad. It's a bad familiar. feeling. <laughs> plenty of. We've all been there, Jabetta. Yeah, not all of us. Great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck off, bud. <laughs> we get it. You're a fucking handsome doctor, <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, it, the 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 spell is rebuffed. There's something like that. Basically, something already has control. Sure. And you did not wrestle that control away. Well, that's what I was trying to do. I know you would do. You were. It didn't work. Okay. Great. I know you do. You were. I knew you would uh, um, Anything else? So, when, when hold on. Not- that's a bonus action. I know. That's why I said anything else. Oh, yeah. Jibetto's going to turn and run toward Gillick. And he's going to drop the control rod because the control rod's useless. And he's going to take out the immovable rods. Okay. And he's going to hold down the buttons on the immovable rods and try and stick them into the, like, the, like, Gillick's greaves so that he can't, like, move his arms. Okay. Make a sleight of hand check. Right. Uh, that's something I can actually do. <clears throat> Ooh, uh, it's not going to be so easy. Uh, how about a fucking 33, <laughs> baby? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that nice. I mean, 33 is pretty good. Is a 33 good enough? Well, so I, I rolled an opposed dexterity check. So with his minus one, he got a 35. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you literally like, terrified me. Um, I was like, in what universe? Right. I wanted one, to. Go ahead. Well, I wanted to know what kind of like otherworldly dexterity Gillick <laughs> yeah. has been granted by the fucking Shadow Lord. Like, sign nope. me up. None of that. Like, <laughs> no, no. His, uh, his... I didn't know he gave that kind of bonuses. <laughs> Fuck this. Let's join up. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, with this his, podcast uh... is taking a real dark turn tonight, <laughs> baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind. The Shadow Lord rules. Uh, with his minus one, he got a 16. So it was still tough, okay. but not that tough. 
Uh, so <laughs> you uh, slide the two uh, movable rods in. You let go of the buttons, and just like uh, he's just like thwomp, uh, he yeah. just stops short. <laughs> Uh, and his little legs are still kicking in the air uh, as you like <laughs> slam him to the that one position. So we'll get back to that. Um, Listen, pal, I don't I don't mean to hurt you. I just gotta I gotta take you out of this a little bit. I, 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 something's going on with you. And like he gives him another slap. This is two episodes in a row where Gibetto slapped Gillick. <laughs> Real sorry. <laughs> Gillick just goes. Like, <laughs> there's nothing going on in there right now. Genevera, it's your turn. Oh, yikes. Um. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pass. I'll come back to me later. Yeah. <laughs> um. Hey, Teladoc, you don't think that you could help us, baby, with this problem? Like, could you hold our friend Gillick in a real tight hug for a few minutes? Your friend Gillick is one of the mortal races. There is nothing I can do to him. The pact forbids it. Sure. Okay, cool. Um, can you give me one second and we can go back to talking about um, working this out without fighting or dying? It's an easy yes or no question, Anthony. It's not. I need to roll dice. <laughs> Just to feel comfortable. Right. <laughs> he needs to kill some time while he thinks about it. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> he says, I will give you a very short amount of time to figure this out. Okay, cool. Uh, Genevera, <laughs> Genevera whips out her wand and casts um, Hold Person on Gillick. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's a wisdom saving throw against your... Mm. Mm-hmm. That sounded super confident. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A wisdom saving throw. Plus five. He fails. Oh, ma'am. Great. <laughs> he is... <laughs> he is paralyzed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His physical form is paralyzed. Oh, man. Uh, so what does that look like? to me when that happens like a scarecrow hanging on your uh uh on your <laughs> pegs <laughs> great <laughs> that's funny i was gonna send one of the dust muppets over there to blind them too but i feel like i don't need to at this point <laughs> dust <muppets. laughs> i skipped the dust muppets by the way you need to do their huh? action. i skipped them by accident so do their action oh okay well uh, you can finish with genevera or are you done genevera uh i'm done Okay, um, they, uh... <clears throat> oh, I didn't skip them. They were a five, right? So now it's the, now's their time. Great. They fly above the, like, flank, or the, um, the line of, uh, what's it called? Spirits. Spirits. Um, and every, uh, like, kind of spread out a little bit. And they all cat, um, they all use, uh, in their 15-foot cone, uh, their blinding breath. Uh, to try and blind as many of them as possible. Okay. I'm trying to do this with as little casualties as possible. Okay. Uh, so what do they have to roll? <sighs> D- I mean, it's a dex 10. But if they fail, it's blinded for a minute. Four sp- uh, four of the spirits are blinded. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the next one does it. They all do no, it. No, there's I four, know. There's four. Okay. They rolled pretty high, and then I rolled a percentile. So uh, only four spirits fall uh, to the blinding. To blindness. Okay. Cool. That's their action. Okay. Uh, so, Keth, it's your turn. Keth's still uh, bloodlusting. Uh, he would like to jump up. Oh, like try and kind of disengage, but he doesn't have that ability. Um, he kind of wants to get the three that are attacking him in front of him. Um, so he wants to kind of like jump up into the air over one of them to, uh, do that. Before you do any of that, make a wisdom saving throw. 14. God damn it. 
Okay. Um, yeah, so you sort of uh, move yourself around so that the three spirits are directly in front of you. Great. Or like sort of in an arc in front of you. And then he'll uh, attack, attack the one on the right. Okay. 21. Hits. Alright, he'll use a gauntlet. Twenty one damage. Okay, yeah, you kill it. Alright, goes it disappears. Goes at the next one. Yep. Twenty nine to hit. Hits. Eleven damage. Okay. Point of key. Six damage. Oh, sorry. Uh, I gotta hit him first. Hold on. Natural one. Okay. Uh, you you lose the other flurry of blow okay. um, attack as you are just sort of like you're getting reckless and sloppy as you swing in at these guys, um, and just just filled with this uh, rage. That isn't a real rage. Um, <laughs> another spirit steps in and they start making attacks against you. Back. Uh, they all miss. Uh, three of them step up to you, Asher. Um, what uh-huh. animal form are you in? Allosaurus. Oh, yeah. Ashersaurus. So my AC would be 15 plus the plus two for my uh, barb stuff, so 17. Two of them hit. Oh, fun. The first for 18 necrotic. Oh, boy. The second for 23 necrotic. Oh, my goodness. So a total of 41 Jeez. necrotic damage. I mean, Asher's at full health, but Ashersaurus is not at full health. <laughs> 41, you said? Yes. Okay. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Asher, it is your turn. Good. Um, Ashersaurus takes a bite out of crime. <clears throat> um, no, he. Yes, he takes a bite. Bite attack. Nat 20, baby! Go. Right, Let's go. That damage. Roll, roll, 4d10. Roll it, roll it all twice. I'm going to roll it all once at the same time, though. Once. That's fine. But you're just rolling twice the damage dice. Well, don't tell me. I saw a, don't... Cool, a cool variant to that that we might pick up at some point. But I'm not. Which is? Which is you get max damage on one set and then you roll the dice again. I like that. I better. do like that. I've. Yeah. I've. I like that a lot because then you—it doesn't feel like right. I, I roll four dice and they were all ones. Right. <laughs> like like earlier that method or not the method the the ghost got a critical Ooh. and did less damage than it did on its second attack. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, what if that yes. keeps happening where like the bad guys get the bad thing and we get the good one? Right. No man, the world's consistent. I hate the, the world's world. an asshole. <laughs> and by the world, I mean Anthony. I just want to make that clear. Anthony, do I add the strength bonus twi- or like the plus whatever bonus twice? Only once. Only once. So, so it would be um, twenty-seven uh, uh, piercing damage. Chompa, chompa, baby. That's a lot. Yeah, uh, I could. And he can only make one attack because I can't pounce again. Yeah, it disappears. Because hum, yum, yum. Okay. I ate some ghost for breakfast. Gillick. I assume it's early. Uh, yeah. G- Gillick it's dashes good. forward again um, and slams a hammer in Keth's back. God, so what's your what's what your plus? Is this issue? It's plus uh, to hit is wait plus ten. Gillick is how does Gillick do that? Isn't he hold person? Oh, her hold oh yeah, paralyzed. Oh, You're right. Yeah. Hold on, sorry. For Disregard. fuck's sake. <laughs> well, it's been a good little call, bit. Rob. Thank you, Rob. Good call, Rob. I got you. I, I was listening. Yeah, well, it's all right. It happened like two hours ago, so. Right. That's my problem. Okay, so <laughs> uh, let's see. So he's going to try to, at the end of his, at uh, the end of Gillick's body's turn, it's going to try and break the paralysis, uh, which it does. <sighs> but it's still stuck in the thing. But still also stuck with the thing. Right. Uh, so uh, Gillick, 
Um, you are still in this darkness. Uh, just sort of stuck there. Huh. Um, hmm. Can, can, can anybody hear me? No hello, response. Hello. Um. Uh, uh, Gilk's gonna think about his spells for a second. And then he's gonna cast... Huh, what can I use? Um... Gillick will cast Detect Magic. Uh... Actually, no. Gillick's going to cast Detect Thoughts. Okay, interesting. And see, see who he can hear. See if he hear anybody floating around. All right. So immediately, um, you reach out with your mind with Detect Thoughts. Uh, you are inundated with uh, the voice of the Shadow Lord. Incomprehensible, indecipherable, in sort of this, like, uh, this flow of these, these words you do not understand, these sounds, these, these almost like symbols in language that are just blasting into your mind. Uh, you take uh, 40 damage. So uh, 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 and uh, that's, uh, like, you hear all of this just, like, pouring into you all at once. But you hear a whisper. Something far, far beyond all of this. Something else. Another voice that you just, just barely hear. And it's a whisper you've heard before. Uh-oh. Kill it, good bird, Dread. I am with you. Yay! All right. Um... Good, Iora. Yeah, cool. Uh, Gillick's gonna just hold on to that, and uh, uh, and he hears that. He hears that through detect thoughts. Yes. Okay. Chibeto, it's your turn. All right. Okay. All right. I have plans. <laughs> so you've pinned Gillick's body in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I remember. Oh, I, I know what I did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just... I keep hoping that something drastic will change and we won't be in the same spot anymore when I come back to my turn. Uh... So I keep like waiting for something different to be happening, and it keeps not being that way. Um, oh God, uh, Gebetto! Gebetto looks at the all-seeing blade, and he says, "Well, I guess this is the way forward now." And he runs to join Kath and Asher in the fight. Uh, okay. You you drop the all-seeing blade, um, and you run to uh, join up with the others. Uh, and as you sort of stand your ground to make your attacks, the blade, like, will not move toward the spirits. Oh, great. Come on, man. Anthony, throw Mike a fucking bone. Like, <laughs> no, Jesus. Mike the player fucking yeah. loves this. Uh, <laughs> let me take a step back. Mike fucking loves this. Gibetto is <laughs> over it, but Mike loves this level of, like, nothing. There's no winning. Like, <laughs> this is exactly the kind of game I want to play, um, where all the choices are bad and nothing good can possibly come from them. Uh, I, I don't. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Um, then what do we do? Make... Make a charisma check. I get it, Anthony. 
<laughs> Should have built a charisma character. <laughs> Seventeen. Nice. Okay. All right. Yeah. Nice. Toy, toy roll. You get a vibration that travels through the blade, a feeling. It is not a voice, it is not a, it's not words, but it is a sensation. Make them see. And... Um... There's so many people that need to see right now. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Gibetto points at the angel and he casts message. Okay. And he says, this stays between us. I work for Caliesto now. I have a bond with her. We need your help. Because the shadow is coming whether this thing opens or not. And at least this way, it's greater races, it's celestials, and it's the Fae against that fucking shadow lord. Roll a persuasion check. Roll a good one. You know, the charisma check. Right. (laughs) 20. Yeah! Yeah, baby! It's a good thing I'm proficient in persuasion. You receive... uh, For a moment, the angel just stares at you. And then you start to receive a message back. It says... If you are truly a champion of the all then you must know the position that we are in is not a good one. But if she has sent you to do this, then I will follow your lead. However, you take responsibility for what happens from here on out. Gibetto... Uh, points back um, and says out <laughs> loud dude we're the many pennies it was going to be our fault no matter what he swipes a hand and the spirits vanish uh, good and uh, from his vantage point he sort of uh uh raises his hands out and a a field sort of a bubble grows up around the field he says whatever comes out of there I'm not letting out until we know what is happening here I love that Genevieve goes ah you listen to me (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, Gillick, what are you going to do? You said you had a plan. I, I don't have Verdoom, but is there any way I can use... Because <clears throat> I, I don't have a light spell, uh, but I want to use, I don't know, whatever divine energy I can to maybe channel my smite into my into another weapon or something. I don't know. Do I have any other weapons? You get to channel it into any melee weapon, right? Yeah, I don't think I have any other weapons, though. I think I just have Verdoom. Your fists are a melee weapon. Yep, yeah, all right. I'll channel, I'll channel uh, some divine energy into my fists and try to create some, create some light. <clears throat> what spell level are you using? Uh, level two. I'll just that's, that's as high as I can go. Okay. 
Um, in this space, you sort of uh, channel that energy. You sort of focus that smite uh, into your fists. Uh, mm-hmm. You watch as they both begin to start to like glow brightly. Um, and as they start to cut this darkness, you hear echoing across sort of this vast cosmos a scream okay. of pain. So as so, what I want to do is see if instead of using the light to cut the shadow, to use it to redirect and kind of and capture the shadow within the light, make like a like a sphere of shadow and have like a, like almost like a halo around it. You know what I okay. mean? Sure. So you start to like st- expand this, and suddenly your father appears again. Gillick, <laughs> stop! You you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, but I like what I'm doing. I'm gonna no. keep doing it. No. <laughs> we, uh, he draws a long blade. Um, and he says, "I will kill you if I have to." I I mean, you could do that, but then you wouldn't have anybody to talk to now, would you? He strikes at you. Uh, okay. And hits. Ah, uh, shit. You take 15 psychic damage. Ow. Why would you do that? As the blade slashes across your chest. And he says, don't make me kill you, Gillick. Don't do this. I mean, if you kill me, I guess I can't really work for the Shadow Lord anymore now. Can I? Gillick. Uh, and he starts to, like, his faces are shifting quickly. He goes from uh, Umris to Viltroth to, um, uh, to, uh, Dunglaris. Like, All right. he's quickly shifting. So as he's shifting, I'm gonna try to move the light over and try to encapsulate the, the, the shifting thing in, in the, in, in, with the shadow. Try to tie it uh, all together. What's your wisdom modifier? Uh, plus five for the for the saving throw is plus five. Okay, yeah, you sort of like focus this light beam on him, and you watch as he sort of like puts his hands up, like to try and push it away. You see the lich standing before you, like <gasps> pushing against this energy. Uh, he shifts quickly away from that. You see, um, you see the king of Emberfall standing with his hands, like pushing against it, uh, and then the light sort of. He snaps back to Umris, and he says, No! And the light snaps around him, uh, and you, like, with a burst of divine energy, you sort of wash back into your body, uh, like a a bright wave of light washes off of you, uh, healing everyone and yourself for uh, 20 damage. Cool. We take... Oh, healing. (laughs) <laughs> That's cool. Jesus, Gillick cool. turns into a holy bomb. <laughs> <laughs> the holy bomb. That's awesome. <laughs> the wave of energy washes off of you and washes toward Elatrix. It slams into him, and there's this sort of like, uh, almost like a crackling of energy as the 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 holy energy mixes with his fey magic and you watch his eyes sort of snap open into these like golden like uh energy crackling eyes uh and he his voice is like caught in his throat for a moment and he says they come the b- between the two trees god damn it mike <laughs> i didn't say anything <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what I yell. I don't know. (laughs) Between the two trees, a a, a spark of bright light emits. Uh, Instantly, it's like a portal that sort of fades down to a symbol. A bright golden symbol. One you haven't seen before, but matches uh, the similar rune styles that you have seen to the, the other ley lines. Hmm. Uh, Asher um, on wild shapes and walks over to it. Uh, and um, Elatrix sort of steps back a few steps and he puts his hand back to you to like hold you back. And he says, Father. And the edges of the symbol turn black. Uh-oh. Cr- the first creature steps through. And it is a Fey Lord with long bleached white hair and mottled skin in like a marbling pattern. Huh. 
and he looks around. His black onyx crown on his head. He says, we're home. Hey adventurers, DM Anthony here again. I just want to remind you that there are lots of ways to support the show. Head on over to patreon.com slash adventure inc. Tell your friends about the show. Rate and review us on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Links and more can be found at adventureinc.podbean.com. Thanks everyone, we'll see you next week. God damn it, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I was gonna say, like he like tries to grab. No, not it. you, Mike. Sorry, I was goddamn it the other Mike. Uh, <laughs> That's all I yep. can think. Every time you say Teladoc, I think about my fucking health insurance. That's not my fault. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a health insurance. Yeah. Uh, yep. It you can a call a doctor whenever Wait, you need. It's call amazing. Tele no, Teladoc. Oh, telephone doc. But what am I gonna tell him? <laughs> I don't know. Someone right. else, yeah. Um, About a pound and a half. Like a no, I idea. don't think. I don't suspect you. No, it's great. <laughs> no, like <laughs> I can't assess re- you. Whenever I need a refill for my for my asthma inhaler, I just call them. Yeah, just rename the uh, angel to Bova. <laughs> All right. So anyway, Cigna uh, raises up his arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the- blue cross, blue yeah, shield. He is blue. <laughs> that one's right. Oh, oh no! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Both of those are fine. Yep. Uh, if this if this angel were named Etna, I would have the same problem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, There's- Obamacare raises his arms. <laughs> uh, no, to answer your question, Kath.